How's it going, YouTube? We have some more Filipino food for you. What do we got? I don't know how to... I don't know how to... I'm gonna butcher this, even though I speak to all of it. Sopao? Sopao? So, so, sopao? Sopaz? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, this is an assortment bag. It's got pork ones and chicken ones. The chicken ones have the yellow dots on them. Uh, these are empanadas. I want to say... Empanadas are also like a Mexican food, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then these are halo halos. We pretty much bought this pre-made halo halo, and then the lady at the store said we needed to put crushed ice in it, and some shredded ice, shredded ice, and some evaporated milk. Uh, you, I guess you usually do condensed milk, but she said there's enough sugar in there that you'd probably be fine with just evaporated milk. That's what she said. So. The chicken ones seem so much bigger. Yeah, they are bigger. <laughs> so let's just do one of each and cut them in half. Okay. Oh, just one of each? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. No, we again. So we got some sauce that I almost spilled <laughs> right here. These elbows. What? You take some of the sauce, which is teriyaki sauce. We couldn't find the actual sauce. Or the, what? <laughs> you want me to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to tell him it was teriyaki sauce. I just wanted him to assume it was legit sauce. It's legit. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. The dough reminds me of like a not a not cooked all the way bagel. Mm. It's kind of what the texture is. It tastes good. This is chicken. Oh, you start with chicken. Yeah, I start with pork. So apart from the teriyaki sauce, how legit would you say this is? Okay. Take you back to the Philippines. Yeah. I mean, they're still better in the Philippines. Well, because these are just microwaved. Yep. Homemade's always better. But this is pretty good. Are you serious? You did it first. That's a mess. There you go. Thank you. So I'm gonna try the pork one now. He's trying the chicken one now. Yeah. Pork, definitely. I prefer the pork. I prefer the pork. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Almost him. Which is weird, because I'm usually more like, I think I prefer chicken, unless it's bacon. Mm. But I think I like the pork one better as well. Alright, we got empanada. I think they're chicken. I think so. I'm pretty sure they were chicken empanadas. Because I've got these before from her. Oh, okay. So, this is just an empanada. Kind of reminds me of a calzone. I got show class or whatever on my fork. Yeah, me too. It's weird. That's okay. So, so it's like a meat pie, basically. That's what it is. You like those pie things that are about this shape. Like you get like fruit pies? Four of them for oh, a yeah. dollar. Oh yeah. I'll kill some pies. I'll like some pie. I like pie, but I don't really like those. Yeah, that's totally chicken. We're gonna let you be the judge. That was a messy bite. Who's eating this properly? I'm going your way. <clears throat> Pretty good. I feel like it needs salt or like some kind of sauce. What do you think? This is how I'd have them. All right. Anyway, let us know in the comments if there's other ways to make empanadas. Can you fry them in a in a, like a mm, saucepan? Maybe. Or? I bet they do fry them. I bet yeah. they could be fried. I bet they'd be really good fried. I don't know. But, Anyway, the only thing we actually made today, 
kind of was shredded ice. <laughs> yep. That was it. And we just mixed ingredients together. And then I baked these and we microwaved the the steam balls. The shofas. So, so fun. Yeah. So fun. Zufas? I can't believe I can't say that word. Anyway, there you go. What do you, what'd you think? What? What do you think of the empanada? Do again? Oh yeah, I love empanadas. Oh, you've had them before? Mm -hmm. What do you have empanadas before? This is very similar to the other empanadas that I've had, but they were like, they were more Mexican, like mm -hmm. Mexican style food. So they had a little more like taco, like seasoning or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. But good, huh? Yeah. Right, I like these. So halo, halo, or halo, halo? Halo, halo. Halo, halo. <laughs> means mix. Mix? As far as I know. Somebody will correct me. Do we have a... Is that more traditional how it's supposed to look? Like in a bowl? Uh, I always got it in a, in a cup. In a cup? Yeah. That's how they have it. But we just got a pre-mixed halo, halo. Oh, this is, this is the same brand right here. Interesting. It is? Yep. Tropics, Tropics. Yep, I shouldn't open that other can. That's okay. So, I've had one of these before, and I remember Matthew being like, oh, there's nothing better than, like, a hot summer day, you go get a hollow hollow. And then we found a, a restaurant that had these, and I thought it was really weird having beans and dessert. And I put sweet corn in it too. Yep. Some uh, ube. Ube. Yeah. So this one's got like gelatin cubes. Is that the ube, ube that you're talking no, about? Ube no. is purple and it's like an ice cream. Oh. Or can be. Yeah. That's what. That'd be the ice cream to put in this is ube. Are those peaches too? There's some uh, I don't know. fruit. Probably mango. I never really knew everything that was in Halo Halo except stuff like, except for the beans and the corn. So we got ice. We got red mung beans. Coconut gel, uh, white beans, water, <coughs> coconut strings, sugar palm, jackfruit. Got jackfruit pulp in here. <coughs> I don't know why I just threw on it like it was gonna be hot. Huh. My favorite thing about Hollow Hollow is those, the weird coconut gelatin. Yeah? Yeah. I could probably just eat like a whole cup of coconut gelatin. gelatin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this bite I got some black, uh, mung beans, I guess. Not black beans. And then coconut. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yeah. There it is. That's good. Yeah, that's good. What do you think? Better than last time? Yeah, because I know what to expect this time. <laughs> <laughs> I like everything in here but the beans. Yeah. I never liked the beans either, but. It is refreshing. Just like imagine you've been walking around all day in the sun. And humidity. And, yeah. Oh yeah, that's delicious. That's delicious. Wish I could share with you guys. I mean this is as good as it's gonna get here. Oh yeah. I think so, yeah. We could do it without the beans, I guess. We could do our own rendition of it. So are there like different variations of Halo Halo or is this like This is their, pretty this is pretty standard, but there there are different different ways people do it. Like there's they put little itty bitty gelatin balls and a ton of them and different colors and flavors. There's lots of ways to do hollow hollow. In my experience. Have you ever had a hollow hollow without beans? 
Or do they all? I think do so. Them? Do again. Yeah, I'll do our, again. our own variation. <laughs> but anyway, hollow hollow. Cheers. Yeah. Cool. Everything. I would do again. Is that our favorite? Our favorite? Out of these three? Oh, I was close. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think the empanada. Yep, I think I'd have to agree with you. I mean, I love Halo Halo, but... And it's been a long time since I've had it, so that's really good. And I like I like the pork. Pork show pile. Show pies. Show pie, Whatever. Those. But... I can actually say empanada, so maybe that's why it's my favorite. No, it tastes good too. It tastes good too. <laughs> He's a chef. The kid in the background. Yep. Anyway, see you next time, YouTube. Adios.